The member for Dunkley. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. It has been reported that for two years no one talked to the security guard who discovered Brittany Higgins after her reported sexual assault in the Defence Minister's office. How is this possible? The, no, members, members on my left, I want to hear from the Leader of the House in silence. Mr Speaker, uh, a couple of points. Um, firstly, there are matters in this House that uh, are properly dealt with by the presiding officers, so questions are best put to the Speaker or in the other no, place members to will the remain President. Silent. Uh, that's the appropriate course of action in relation to some of these matters. The second point, Mr Speaker, is that the Australian Federal Police Commissioner, Mr Kershaw, has been very clear in relation to the Brittany Higgins matter. That is that there is a police investigation that is underway at the moment. It may well result in an arrest and a criminal trial here in the ACT or in some other jurisdiction. He has made it very clear to members in this House that his preference is to allow the police to conduct their operation without public commentary, without further public commentary that may potentially compromise either an investigation, the gathering of evidence or indeed a successful prosecution. And Mr Speaker, I would ask that on that basis uh, the Leader of the Opposition should reconsider that, the appropriateness of that question. Well, you didn't ask it, but you directed for it to be asked, and you should, you should withdraw it and consider, and consider Mr Speaker, Members the, view, on my left. the view of the Police Commissioner. And I think that view should prevail in this matter. The Member for Isaacs won't be here very long if he keeps the manager of I'm going to hear the manager of opposition business. The manager of opposition business on a point of order. Yeah, to the point of order, Mr. Speaker. The leader of the House's points all presume that this question uh, works on the basis that it could have only been the police who were asking questions of the security guard. That's not the question that's in front of us. The question that's in front of us is that no one asked questions. Now, given that we are talking about something that happened to a member of staff within the ministerial wing, given that the Prime Minister subsequently has initiated a number of different inquiries, there are many different points where questions could be asked. None have. I, I, I don't discount for a minute the issues that have been raised had the question presumed that we're asking why haven't the police asked. Okay. But that's not what this question says. Well, I'm going to rule on this very clearly for the benefit of all members. Not all members will have been watching Senate estimates yesterday, but the President of the Senate made very clear his approach and indeed my approach to answering questions once a criminal investigation has begun. Made that abundantly clear. And I completely concur with him, and statements on our behalf have made that very clear. I've listened to the manager of opposition business. I've listened to what he's had to say, but the question, as it's framed, is not within the responsibility of the Prime Minister. I'll move to the next question. <laughs> 